What's I got a quick question. What is your nationality? What does that mean? What is what is what would I say? What is our people's race or nationality? What would you say? My nationality. Uh, what do you call yourself when you sign up for an application for a job or etc.? What do you put? African American. African American. What about you? Yeah, African American. African American. What about you guys over here, brother with the A's hat? What's your nationality? Mixed. Mixed is African American. Okay. Okay. What about you? Hispanic, Latino. Hispanic, Latino. What about you, bro? Hispanic, Latino. Hispanic, Latino. Okay. So, believe it or not, these are divisive tactics used on our people. You understand? Divisive tactics meaning what? We no longer see each other as the same race of people. That's a. That's a. That's what they do. You understand when they want to colonize or conquer or stay on top in society of a people. They say you're the minority. Well, you're Hispanic. Well, not even just Hispanic. You're Mexican. He's Puerto Rican. He's Guatemalan. You're Honduran. Now you're no longer together, right? Mm -hmm. You're African American. He's black or Afro American, right? And so on and so forth. Native American, indigenous. You understand? There's so many different divisions in how we identify ourselves today. But the Bible speaks about one race of people, a nationality, a nation of people that have been devised and conquered, divided and conquered, and forced different names upon themselves. So we can get different choices of names as we go throughout the room that teach us, oh, well, I'm, some, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, versus all of us being in one uh, mindset when we say, oh, I'm this race of people. You understand? African American. Those are two different land masses. Mm -hmm. Two different land masses, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we come, so let's say Africa was conquered by a Roman general named Afro, Scipio, uh, Afro, Afro Africanus. Leo Scipio Africanus. Leo Scipio Africanus, excuse me. And then America was founded and conquered by Amerigo Vespucci. So these are two colonizers, two European colonizers, right? Do we come from two European men, our race of people? No, we don't. Hispanic means property of Spain. Are you the property of Spain as a Hispanic person, as a Latino? No, that's not identifying the race of people. That means we're property of somewhere, and then we were brought from one place and called another place, right? that does not identify us as a race. So that's what we go into teaching, the sense, the common sense that we should all have about, hey, what do we call ourselves so I can show my child who I am in this book that I claim that I believe in. You understand? So that's what we try. We try to ed uh, uplift and edify our people because now we are in the age of information. So we need to know, we need to be taught. Ignorance is now a choice. If you choose not to learn who you are, why it matters in these last days, that is a choice, right? So you're sitting at home, you're watching YouTube, and you're just letting your life pass you by. Maybe I'll subscribe tomorrow. Maybe I'll subscribe next month. No, do it now. You can watch classes before work, after work, in between on your breaks. You on your phone all day anyways. Why not pick up the phone and get you something that's going to edify your life and get you on a better path? What are you waiting on? That we got we got the list of the 12 tribes chart on the bottom right we got some the atrocities that would happen to our people on the top middle and then we have a piece of the transatlantic slave trade on that sign as well so feel free to take a look at it why is that important we're about to show you bible verses that would happen to a specific people as to why they would call themselves puerto ricans dominicans guatemalans seminole indians native americans mexicans you got me that's what we're trying to show our people, okay? Give me that Deuteronomy 15. Isaiah 65, 15 first. Because these things matter. Some may say, why does that matter? I'm trying to do me. I'm trying to do my best life. Why does that matter today? 
Because a wise man once said, if you fall, if you can't stand for something, you will fall for anything. So us as a people today, we are very divided and individually mindset. I'm worried about me. Look at what they got going on over there. We worried about us. Whereas just 60, 50 years ago, we were united, even in the midst of segregation and that such thing, right? Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. Come on. You shall leave your name for a curse. The Bible is speaking to a specific group. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible, brother? Mm -hmm. Tell me your name. A.B.? Yeah. All right, A.B., what's your name? Sharon. Sharon? All right, nice to meet you. Do y'all believe in the Bible? Show of hands. Show of hands, right? And if you don't believe in the Bible, that's fine as well. That's why we're here as well, just kind of show some of the things that we've been taught or misled out of the Bible. I know a lot of our people have turned away from it. They choose to do their own thing. That's fine. Read it again. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Come on. Unto my chosen. So the Bible's saying a specific race of people are going to leave their name for a curse. Read it. Read it. Unto my chosen. Come on. For the Lord God shall slay thee. Okay. And call his servants by another name. So who are the children of God? If I'm asked that question, who are the children of God? Some may say, oh, I know I'm a child of God. You got children, don't you? Yeah. Don't you name your children? Yeah. God said his children will now leave their name for a curse. Would you ever let another person change their child's name? That's what would happen to God's children. So when we look at the signs, the 12 tribes of Israel, the curse is on the right side. The name that God named us is on the left. That would literally happen to a great a group of people. We ain't never heard that about the Bible, right? Read it again. Isaiah 65, verse 15. Come on. You shall leave your name for a curse. Come on. Unto my toes. Read. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So throughout history, we were slain by our enemies. We were called different names. We were called, we were given curses. Yeah. African American is a curse. Yeah. That's not to say, we, it was a two different land masses. If I were to say, try again, give me another race, what would we call ourselves? What would you say then? Not to put you on the spot, though, right? But so this is the same question for all of us. Hey, what, say it again. If we, if, if I said, hey, African American, that's that's a that's a curse. That, that's not real. Yeah. Those are two different land masses. That's not a race or a bloodline of people. Yeah. What would you call our race of people? What would you say? You don't know. Yeah. It's a thought process, right? Something that clicks. Like, Hold on, I ain't never heard that. If you had to say something outside of Latino, what would you say? Mm -hmm. Human, human is, is a race of all the races upon the earth. Yeah. Think, think about it. Even the fish in the sea, you can't call a whale a shark. Yeah. You can't do it. They both swim in the water, but they're different. The same way the races that have been put upon this earth, we are different. Why do you think we're faster? Why do you think we're, we're stronger? Why do you think even through all, throughout oppression, we come through building things? How do you think we've constructed the pyramids on this side of the earth and, and, built, and there's some pyramids built over there on the other side. Who do you think built those things? There's a race of people that God said are his chosen people that are special, more special than any other race upon this earth, but now they're calling themselves by a curse. We've never heard that nor read that out of the Bible. You understand? That's what we're trying to show and teach our people. Our names are important. Our bloodline, our race, who we are. We're not just Negroes. We're not just Morenos. We're not just niggas. We're not just sick, wetbacks, whatever. We are the children of Israel, according to the Bible. Yeah. But we have been torn away from that name. We have been torn away and given a curse. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You got it. Give me something else. 2815. So this is what we're showing our people. And the images on the poster helps explain those things better. We, our people are very visual. We are visual people, okay? Mm -hmm. So feel free to look at the sign. If you, don't, if you can't see it, pull it up. This is what we're trying to show our people. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. So we're reading the Bible, right? Who wrote the first five books of the Bible? We say we believe in the Bible. We know it a little bit, right? May not know it too much. Like Grandma called it. But who wrote the first five? Who do you think? The five books. The first five. The first five, meaning Genesis to Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy. 
Moses, right? Yeah, Moses. So there's things we've been, I listen, I went to church my whole life, my whole life. And we knew about certain things of the Bible, but we didn't really know it. We were sitting in the church, I was falling asleep in the pulpit, I was falling asleep, I ain't gonna lie. You understand? But this is about Moses. Moses was dwelt among the ancient Egyptians as well. What color were the ancient Egyptians? Black, right? That would mean if Moses was dwelling with them, what color was Moses? You understand? So then we got to ask ourselves, we got to ask ourselves, what does that mean? What does that mean? Moses was a black man. He had to have been if he dwelling with the ancient Egyptians. You understand? So he's speaking to the children of Israel, which means they are what race, what color people? They got him black, and, black and brown, right? He reading to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake. You heard that word again, right? He's saying these things are going to happen to a specific race of people if we don't listen to our God. He's, he may have created everything upon this earth. But he is the God of one race of people. Now that's contrary to what we've been taught throughout life, right? We've been taught he's the God of everybody. God loves everybody. For God's a little world. And he gave his own to God. We've been taught those things. But we've never been given context to what those actually mean. And who he's talking about. You've heard that, right? What does that mean? Does that mean, you know what I'm saying? Does that mean God loves everybody? God a little world? Yeah. We can, we're going to touch that later, right? So if he loves the world, why is he allowing those things to happen to it right now? What you mean? There's chaos in the world, homosexuality is at an all-time high, pedophilia, transgenderism, all these things are going on. If God loved the world, why would he allow these things to happen? He did. I mean, I feel like he loved it. He allowed it to grow. He said, you know, it's going to be seed time to hold into the world and anyway. So, you know, all this stuff had to come about anyway. John 17 and 9. The wheat got to grow with the tail, bro. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? So who is the wheat and what is the tear? The children that are here through spiritual. It's spirituality. I don't think it's like physically, uh, you know, everything is spiritual. I don't think it's like in the natural. Okay, okay, that's that's a, that's a, that's a, I like that point. I like that point because I think a lot of us think like that too. What do you think, Dylan? Do you think this book is a spiritual thing or is just a physical thing? Because he said it is more spiritual yeah, I think than it's a, it's physical. Yes, both. Yeah, it's it's both. A little bit of both. No, it's both. It's, it's both, but the but the main thing is the main thing behind our to me, like the main idea of it is spiritual because God is a spirit. You know what I'm saying? God ain't no person. You know what I'm saying? And if we made in his image, we were made in his image through spiritual. Spiritual. Not, not you know, our fleshly being, bro, like our flesh. Okay, so when he said make man in our image, he wasn't being literal? Nah, when he said, I don't, I don't believe he was being literal like when you say, when he said let us make man in our image, as far as the image, the image is Spiritually, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because it say in the beginning was God, and in the beginning was the Word of God, and, and he was talking about a spirit. He wasn't talking about people. He wasn't talking about nothing. He was talking spiritually when you read that. You know what I'm saying? You mind if we show you that we have been not all the way told the truth about what you're saying? Nah, I mean, you share it with me, but I... I yeah, I, okay. I read, let's let's I read it. Genesis I'm... chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Let's see. Because remember, he said God is a spirit, okay? But he, in order for them to make us in their image, that means we he would have had to have a form as well. He had you know? a form he, when, he, when he created when he created man by the dust of the ground and he breathed his spirit into him. That's how we became spiritual beings. Like we became, but like God image. Those are two separations. He made the man and then he breathed into him. Okay, so but that's the, the still part, the same thing. The part, though, you know what I'm saying? The part about God that I feel what you're saying, but the part when you say God was God was um. He also has a body, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Now, I didn't see. I, I, now, that's the part that I don't. He prepared himself a body in Christ. He came down and done what we couldn't do. He did that. But as far as him being a body or as a person, no, nah, I don't think he's a person. Bro. And if I can show you in the Bible that he does have a body, would you believe it? Uh, I like, but it's, this is his word. He's speaking of himself. 
You gotta show me that, bro. I, hey, I, I like that. Show me. Cause right? I believe God is a spirit, bro. I don't believe none of this. Cause that's why we go back to dust. You know what I'm saying? He formed us in the ground, and that's why we go back down to the ground. As a body, but you said it yourself, He breathed into us. That means you have a breath. You and I are talking that's separately, right? If, if we're if we're across, you was talking to me, right? On the on the phone. That's a spiritual thing. Okay. Check out that fly, bro. You understand? That's a spiritual thing. We can't see each other, but we can hear our spirits through the phone. That's a spiritual thing. That doesn't mean that doesn't negate that you don't have a body. Show me what you're talking about. Yeah, you're talking about I got you. I got you. Genesis one, first. Genesis chapter one, and verse twenty-six. Good to see you again, bro. You too, bro. Take care, dude. Genesis chapter one, and verse twenty-six. Come on. And God said, "Let us make man in our image." So, were those just spirits out there? He said, let us make man in our image. This is God. God, Christ, and the host of the angels, right? He said, let us make man. That means they out here just like we. We chilling. Nah, we we have, they have a host. They said, hold on. We got to create a man. Let us make him in our image, meaning there was a physical body. Nah, there. The us to me that they talking about is God, spirit, his word. Because they said in the beginning was the word. In the, in the word was God, and the word was with God. You know God and the means, word became flesh. You know you God means like multiple. God means how words. It doesn't mean one being. But I'm saying we know what, but when we refer to God, we know what we're saying when we're saying God. So just think about it. When you say in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. You know what I'm saying? That's us. You know what I'm saying? That's us right there. That's the us that 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 that, that I understand it to be. The beginning was the word. The word was God, and the word was with God. And when God spoke the word, He said, "Let there be." His word said, "Let there be this." And that's that us that He was talking about. Let us make man in our image. That's that's what I get. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no man told me this. This is what God revealed to me Himself. So whenever you read what you're re referring to in John chapter one, yeah. you know that's Christ. No, that's not everybody. That's, that's literally saying this is the word made flesh. We can point to him calling the word. That's, that's, that's him saying. I, right. I know that Christ made himself. He made when God spoke. He said he was the word that became flesh and dwelt among men. But this is what I'm saying. When God said in the beginning, when He made the word, when, when He said He made the word, He spoke everything by His word. Nothing was made, nothing was made without Him saying anything. Okay. So with Him saying something, his, with Him saying basically His word. Everything that was made was made by the word of God, right? Everything was made. Who is the word of God? Okay, Jesus existed before even the world was created. You know what I'm saying? Which was God God in the flesh. That's who Jesus is. So, let's, okay, let's keep reading. Go ahead. And, and God go, and said, what I want next. let us make man in our image. Come on. After our likeness. After our what? Likeness. No, just our spirit. After our likeness. Our fleshly likeness. It wasn't no flesh then. That's what it said. But the no, likeness is literally your flesh, bro. Not a, the, but look, look, the, it wasn't I mean, no I'm, flesh. I'm dirt, mean, we were made out of dirt, so dirt wasn't flesh. Until he breathed into it, it became a living being, a, a, a living soul. But it wasn't, it wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Was that it or not? Mm -hmm. All right, he reads. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Come on. And over the fowl of the air, and over the cow, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Damn. Male and female created he them. Okay, I'm talking about okay, the okay, likeness. Okay, the we'll, definition of likeness is literally. But, in okay, we'll go to this right here. Well then when you see when when do you see when when when, when Adam and Eve came into the garden, right? When Adam and Eve came into the garden, right? No. They was they 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 was walking in the garden before they ate from the tree of life, a tree of good and evil, the knowledge, tree of knowledge. You know that they didn't they didn't they didn't have they was fleshly beings, but they didn't have eyes that they could see. They were supposed to walk by faith and not by sight. It was just it was that, that's just exactly what that was. They were supposed to walk by faith and not by sight. They, they had eyes. They they saw what they wanted to see. That's why Eve was deceived. She, she saw now she heard. Life. That's she how she was saw. deceived through what she heard. No, she was deceived through the conversation of the devil. Mm -hmm. Through what she yeah. through what she said, it. and that's why God told her, "Who told you you were naked? Who told her eyes was open to what she could see that she was naked, and she was physically naked? Like she, so, she, she wanted to cover herself naked. up. She so they want to cover themselves up. They want to hide and be like, this what man? I'm, they didn't know it was a okay. So you ever you ever give your child your children examples? Show me what you're trying to show. Me. 
No, it's just a, the, the definition of likeness. Yeah, and likeness. It, it so it's an hour. Explains, See, it's an hour our likeness is so the uh, literal word in the Bible we read. Likeness, likeness. To, but listen, but before you and I had our own thoughts, that definition, that word was already there. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with